Hi everyone, I am Ranvi Ashit from the Scout Group of Royal International School, Kurnagar. I am a person who loves the astronomy uh, from the young age. So I visited uh, British Council Library uh, from my small age. So I had the chance to read a lot of books regarding astronomical side in the Kurnagar British Council Library. There are lots and lots of uh, astronomy books, so I can read. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. so entirely about six hours and even I visited some of the astronomical camps so this is one of the main items that they give this is a star map where you can calibrate the, uh, the star constellations you can see at the night sky at the particular day at the particular time this is this is my logbook. Uh, in these days, I am engaging in a new batch because uh, I can't go anywhere due to the quarantine. So this is my new batch, and it's east in the field I like the most. So it's the astronomer batch, uh, the senior batch of the starman batch, which is the junior one. So uh, this is the batch, the senior one. Uh, these are the things that we should include in the batch, in the batch note. So, uh, this is uh, another uh, introduction uh, to the batch and uh, this is one of my drawings. This is a drawing of the solar system uh, in the pencil. So, these are some other information and uh, the star constellations that we should include. And these are some of the major constellations that we can see in the night sky. So, so regarding constellations, as scouts, we must know that constellations can provide us directions. So, even though most of us know, most of us don't know how to use it. So, I'm here to tell you it in a simple way. So we are going to use some major star constellations and here are some. Uh, it's the Ursa Major as well as the Ursa Minor. These two, these two parts are derived from the Ursa Major. This is also known as the Big Dipper because it's the part of the Ursa Major constellation and this is the Little Dipper, also the part of the Ursa, Major, Ursa Minor constellation. And uh, the Orion, the most common constellation, and also uh, the Cassiopeia, Centaurus, and the Crux, Crux also known as the uh, Southern Cross constellation. So, uh, first I will show you how to find the north. So, to find the north, uh, the north star or the polar star is, is located in the Little Dipper constellation. It's this star, this is the polar star or the north star. So we could easily find it by using this little dipper constellation. But this is a bit dim constellation compared to the other. So it's very hard to find it, somewhat hard. So in order to find that, we can use the big dipper constellation and also the Cassiopeia constellation. By using the big dipper constellation, we can use the two pointer stars. Merak and Dubey. We can use these two stars and construct an imaginary line going right on top of it and this, this comes straight to the north star or the polaris star. But sometimes this big Tibur constellation is not visible because it is located somewhere below. So in that times we can use the Cassiopeia constellation. The Cassiopeia constellation is the WCH constellation. It has two V's as in the W but one V is a bit wider than the other one. We can use that the wider V and we can construct an imaginary line in between those two uh, lines like this and that line goes to the North Star or the Polaris Star. So there are two easy, there are, those are the two easy methods that we can use to find the North Star. And regarding the South, there's no star to represent it, like the Polaris star. So there's only a small spot that we can 
assume that it's a south place that we can find so for that we can use the southern cross or the crooks it's it's a cross shaped constellation in that we can use the top star and the bottom star we extend that distance like about four and a half times in the straight line four and a half times so we can uh, find an imaginary spot where the south pole might be that means south pole line <coughs> so if that's not very much easy you can use another constellation that's the centaurus constellation uh, as you know if you know the constellation centaurus there are two stars that represents the fun plagues alpha centauri and the beta centauri <coughs> those two do, uh, find the middle spot of those two stars and construct a perpendicular line that means a 90 degree line from the middle of those two stars and find where it intersects with the line that we extended from the southern cross that's where the south is located and drop your rays to the horizon that's, that's where the south it is <coughs> so by finding the north and the south we can easily find the east and west so by facing the north you can extend your arms like this and your left arm represents west and the right arm is east so that's very easy and also we can find the latitude using star constellations that's mostly using the north pole and the south pole so <coughs> that the theory behind that is if you if the if you find the angle that the north pole is the north star is located to you that's the exact angle that your latitude is that means if that angle is 30 your latitude is 30 so that's the theory behind it so to estimate that as we estimate heights and other things to estimate that we extend our arms and make fists if we extend it fist and keep the keep it at right at the horizon this like very estimate make up about 10 degrees so using that we can fill the gap between the north star and the horizon by doing that we can find how, like estimate how many degrees are there between the north star and the horizon from that we can get the latitude behind uh, the final longitude is kind of hard uh, it requires very lot of experience uh, and it has to be like some person who travels daily like a daily salesman salesman or someone so what i'm trying to tell is that you can engage in work like this because uh, even due to the quarantine uh, you the this this works cannot be stopped so uh, you can engage in other proficiency badges and other various several stuff like uh, gardening and everything there are lots and lots of proficiency badges regarding everything that we can do so engaging something something that is useful so you can spend your time uh, very usefully but how i know this all this stuff is like uh, it's like i've gone to a lot of exhibitions and uh, i've read some books uh, from the library and other things and i watch discovery and all those there are lots of good programs in discovery and all those channels and also i explore what i'm trying to tell you is that don't look like this that limits your observation look like this explore see everything not just one so even our lord baron powell was an explorer he learned most of things by himself so you can do many things when you're at home try doing something that you like and Make a video like this and share the knowledge with your fellow scouts also. So thank you all. Be a scout. Be prepared as you always was.